Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Vault Hunters. We are finally fully into season two and we've got a really good start. We've got a lovely base. We've got a tiny bit of vault gear, although not so much yet. And we're definitely starting to unlock a load of cool things. Starting with this thing here. Yay, it's a pouch. Uh, it's not very exciting, but it will make a big difference in the vaults. We also have some cool abilities. We've got heal, we've got mega jump, and we've also got one level in speed. And we finally got ourselves this spooky table behind me, which is a bounty table. And we're currently trying to complete a mission, which is to deliver 33 vault apples to the bounty table. We've given 15 already. We need to find another 18 to complete this. So what are our plans for today? Well, we definitely want to hit that level 10 because once we get there, the real game begins. And to start off, I recruited good old Hellfire Mage. We're going to go together into a few vaults and uh, see if we can't get any vault apples while we're at it. Hi, Hell. How's it going? Hello. Um, I am good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. All the yeah. better for seeing you. I felt last time I was a bit mean to you, so I feel today I'm going to be nice to you. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Well, 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 well. In that case, yeah. if you're being nice, um, oh. I might have some, some secret intel to uh, to to let you look at for the oh, time being. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, so you know that, like, there is the fear that AI is going to take over the world because it knows more than we do, right? Sure. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's, ultimate it's, source yeah. of intelligence. Well, sure. The trope, I, I saw, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I told it that Code MC had yeah. become our new champion. And, right. And it, it decided to write a poem. Okay. And h here is the poem. And uh, it's a little bit disturbing. So I will let you um, peruse that while we walk around the vault. And then you, you can see if you think we should do anything about it. <laughs> oh, okay. This is excellent start to a conversation, first of all. Um, very good. Uh, yeah. I see you'll be working you on your... Do expect anything different? No, no, no. It's fantastic. Uh, I will have a look at uh, this poem while we're running around the vault, I guess. Okay? Yes, absolutely. You need to need to read the poem. Make sure you're happy with everything that's, that, that's in there. All right. Weird man. And, and, and if not, think what we're going to do about it. Okay. okay let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Gilded. Oh, gilded. Oh, this is nice. Uh, should we split up and then if we find something good, we meet up again? Is that a plan? Well, me and CWG, what we did is yeah. one of us went to the top levels and one of us went to the bottom. Oh. And we just looted rooms like that. I see. Wait, I'm, I'm going to do something I saw in the very handy guide. <laughs> <laughs> Nether rat crew. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, really? I'll go down if you want to go up. Okay. We've only got two monoliths as well, so that's quite nice. Yeah. Have you have you, have you heard the news? No, I've not heard the news. Oh my god, there's a polar bear. Oh my god, there's a polar bear. Wait a second, sorry. <laughs> just the polar bear just disappeared. <laughs> um sorry, what he, what's the news? There's a, a new skill. Oh, I don't know that. That makes you immune to fall damage temporarily. Oh. So I thought you, I, I knew you could get a charm apparently, but I didn't yeah, realize. Yeah, there is there is a charm. There's Elvish Air, which is the charm. Yeah. But there's um, also a new skill called Stonefall. Yeah. Um, which basically works like you activate it, and then for half a second, you are immune to fall damage. Is this a Thanos altar somewhere? They they, they are red, so I feel like there must be a. Red is I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? That one. There's there's a vault. Thing. There's an idol. There's an idol. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mod box. Nice. Alrighty. Oh, nice. What, what's that? Blank seal. That seems Ooh, fun. Nice. Yep. I'm assuming that's like okay. seal of the challenger. That kind of stuff. Yeah, you can make your own seals now. Nice. What is going on? I want to find out why it's running so badly. It's very annoying. Oh, by the way, I've just, <laughs> just chucked a few ah. into your face. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I punched them with my bow and they just fell on you. Oh god, and on me. Don't forget to read your poem. Yep. What what I'm going to do is I'm gonna briefly put it on screen right now so people can have a look at it. <laughs> plan they can see the nefarious actions of Code MC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what we'll do. We'll put it on screen. 
<laughs> and you can see what I have to deal with. <laughs> so you think an AI has predicted what, you know, not the future, but, you know, knows what's going to happen. Oh, yeah, sent for sure. us a warning. Absolutely. It's definitely some sort of message from the future. Okay. That's, that's the only way to explain it. Like, I was testing it on a bunch of other questions, and yeah. it seemed to get the right answer every time. So, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, did you it's, ask it's it, the only logical explanation. So, what, did you ask it anything else? Like, like relating to other people on the server? Oh, Phoenix Dust. That looks fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I asked whether um, you were a, a good member to fight for um, a righteous cause, and it said that you were. So, I think that um, it, it clearly well, understands it you. Well, uh, it is incorrect then, I guess, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, there is a portal room. But I don't Pretty think... Vendor still. Yeah, I don't have any. Yeah, I don't think they're dropping um, loot boxes anymore, do they? I've not seen anything that would be yeah, able to make one. I'm just gonna go down here. Uh, how? What, what's the thing about silverfish? How do you do, deal with silverfish? <laughs> oh, um, you. Uh, oh, oh, ah, oh, oh! You don't fall onto a spawner. That's that would be a good start. Oh my, oh my! I'm so dead. <laughs> don't die! Don't die! I am a hundred percent dead. Don't die! Oh my God! There's a lot of silverfish. Oh my. That was ah, this, this, a spider. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is this is dangerous. I see I see ah. <laughs> so then pillar up, pillar up two. I can't. Go, and then just lead them into the hole, shift and then edge. Okay. There you go. And then they'll all be in the hole. That's so much better. <laughs> and there you go. There Lovely. Thank you for for um, dealing with that. <laughs> Hey, ah, no, it's only things! Okay, wait. So I had to turn the corner and... Uh... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Uh, watch out, watch out. What are you doing, what are you doing? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Keep going this way, keep going this way. Keep going this way. Ah. Oh, my God. Help. Uh, we're the worst at this. <laughs> oh, God. We're going in the portal room. Go in the portal room and then block off the entrance. Ah. <laughs> They're not oh, like thanks. that. Uh, I think we leave this room. I don't think. I don't think yeah, this is I, worth I it. I agree. I think. <laughs> I think this is. Uh, We've looted all hazardous. we needed to loot. Uh, that was very successful. <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> it is. It has not passed the cosh assessment. <laughs> no, 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 it has not. Uh, See, oh, there's a actually... there's a puzzle room. Ooh, what's it need? Um, I'm gonna go and check. It doesn't need any greens. Ooh, interesting. Have you got any pieces at all? I don't have any on me, but I can start looting. Ah, uh, we've not got enough then, yeah, but... I don't know, we can have a quick go. So, I don't know where you've led me, <laughs> but it's not the correct way. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to try and find my way back to the portal. I think that's fair. <laughs> I think I may do the same, actually. I don't think it's worth it at this point. Alrighty, awesome. Cool. 2100 XP. I got something like that, yes. Yeah, so I had a look at this note. Yes. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> well, two things. It's uh, freeing. <laughs> so here's, here's the problem, right? I think you're insane. Mm -hmm. But also, oh, yeah. I think you're dangerous insane. And I'd rather yep. be on your team than against you. <laughs> I mean, that works for me. That's good enough for me. Um, so, yes, of course, uh, I will help you defeat uh, the evil code. Excellent. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I am officially not by myself and the sun is shining to bless us. Still talking to yourself, I see. D no. <laughs> did Never mind. <laughs> we can't. We need to stop talking. He's right. here. Right. Creep up on him. Let's 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 hide. Let's hide. <laughs> hide. <laughs> Secret plans. Secret plans. <laughs> hey, he's gone. Okay, he's we're gone. safe. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I told you, he's spying on us. Oh, dear me. So a few things we've got. We've got seven volt diamonds. Very nice. One away from getting ourselves another mod or a skill. We also have seven more volt apples, which we can feed to the bounty table. Oh, we only need seven more, which is very exciting. Uh, we've also got two ready booster packs. Yep, obviously nothing. Uh, we've got a load of burger parts. Oh, it's going to be close. Nah, not quite. Uh, we've also got some Phoenix dust, which I'm not entirely sure what that does. Oh yeah, to add a Phoenix modifier, which means that we wouldn't die if we use this catalyst. So that's very good. Um, we also got a mod box, which gives us, uh, I guess, two rabbit hide. Fair enough. And we also got a blank seal. We can use this together with other items to get either a scavenger vault or a boss vault or a challenger vault. This definitely feels very doable. I'm definitely going to keep that for once we get to level 10. Now, I'm actually going to be away for the next few days, uh, which means I'm not going to be able to record any vault runs, but I do want to hit level 10 today. So what I think I'm going to do is run some vaults in my own time. I did this last season, and obviously I'll make sure that anything vital is done on camera, but vaults can get quite samey after a while, so I'll be doing some in my own time just to kind of keep us going. So while I was away, I've done a bit of progress. First of all, I managed to find myself some new vault gear. I got some leggings and some new sets of chest plates. I also got myself a new knowledge star with all the materials I'd collected in the vaults. And uh, I haven't used it yet because I'm trying to aim for double pouches, which needs three research points. So I'm gonna have to wait a bit more for that. I then managed to get myself a new chest plate, which is even better than the first one and a new Volt Axe, which is quite exciting. I don't know use axes so much in the Volt runs. I also toyed with getting a new skill point, but I thought that maybe what I should do is wait until I'm level 10. So I've got two skill points, and I'm gonna put them in something like speed or strength, something that will be quite useful. And just there at the end, I almost got to level 10. I am just a few XP short, um, but I'm needy me there. And I've managed to also get myself a new axe, which is even better than the one I found before. But that is you guys now all caught up. And first of all, have a look at my new setup. This is pretty cool. Quite like this uh, Minotaur chest plate. Uh, it looks pretty nice, actually. So as you can see, we're very, very, very close to level 10. So I definitely want to do a vault run to just, just finish that off and actually get ourselves into the big game. But before I do that, a few little things I wanted to sort out. Now, first of all, between this clip and the last one, there's been an update to Vault Hunters, which means the good old Shard Soul Salesman, Soul Shard Salesman, has, uh, has disappeared. We now have something new called the Black Market. And there we go, we got a Black Market. Let's put it next to our bounty table. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I could buy... 8 Volt Rock with my shards. Also, we finished a bounty. I found 20 Volt Apple in the vault, so I'm going to claim my reward. I'm going to unlock a new one. What's mining? So we need 7 Bengatite or 5 Hunter Eye. I think I'm going to go for these prizes. I'm going to activate that one. Right, I think the only thing we need to do really is to run another vault. But while I'm at it, I'm just going to go quickly to the shopping district because I believe there is some challenges there that we have to complete. But yeah, last episode, Code became our champion, the champion of the server, so he's been able to put out laws that we need to follow. So for week one, which is last week, you must wear one of the dolls in the shock on your head doing all vault runs, you do. So that's this one here. Uh, let's put that onto the slot. We need to put it on the bubble slot. That's a charm. Is this a bubble? Is that a bubble? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this cursed image. <laughs> What's he doing on my head? Why is he there? <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal. Come on, little friend, let's go back home. And there we go. Excellent. Let's vault. <laughs> oh, this one actually has obelisks. So we could fight a boss, but I don't think it's worth it. 
Oh, that looks like an obelisk. Don't know if I want to fight the boss, but I'll hit this one just to keep my options open. Oh, there we are, like a crystal room. That is good, because we need to get some Benyotite. tight. Climb, 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 climb. Oh my god, so many spiders. So these rooms are actually not too bad, I found. Once you've got up high, nothing can really hit you. And all you need to do is pillar around. Oh, I see some Benyotite tight over there. Oh, good old Benyotite. tight. Okay, excellent. Keep on moving. Oh, there's one there we can go to. Oh, I could try and go for that one. Looks a bit dicey, but let's give it a go. Okay, is there any more we can get? See, I'm not going down there, because that looks like an absolute nightmare. Unless I can clear them from up here, I guess. So a lot of the spawners are broken at this point, I guess. If I can get low enough, I should be able to just hit them. Well, everything seems to have quietened down. But I'm scared of what that means. But I think I can go down, actually. I can hear mobs, but I can't see them. Which I guess is good. What if I close myself into this? Looks like a good idea. Oh god, oh no, something hit me from there. Wow, look at all these. Wow. What's that one? Oh, just the licks and right, fair enough. I can definitely get myself to a few new knowledge stars with all of this loot. Right, so this is the problem I'm having. I think I mostly finished all the gems that are available up here and the layer above. But I'm sure there's gems down here as well. I've got enough time to do it. But this is this is the place where I've died the most in 1.16, so do I risk it? Oh god, lots of things spawned. If I run up though, maybe I can clear them. So many spiders, where are all these spiders coming from? I'm being greedy again, I know it. I'm not stopping though for some reason. Okay, I think I've done it. Ben, you're tired to come to me. I think let's just get out of here, make it to the entrance and escape with all of this stuff, which is a fair amount to be honest. And I am out. Right, so I'm assuming yes, I'm assuming I'm level 10. That was pretty good though, we didn't really loot any chests or anything. We did kill a fair amount of mobs, but more importantly, we got ourselves a whole load of ores. So that means a few pretty good things. First of all, we have finished a bounty, so you have to claim that reward. Woo, that's a lot of stuff. But this is what we want, all of these lovely gems, including 25 Benyotite and a few Black Opal Ore. And that is excellent because we can use all these gems to craft ourselves some knowledge stars. You know what, I think we only have enough knowledge essence for one knowledge star. But what we do have is skill essence. So we could do one of each in fact. Consume it and we got three unspent skill points. Well first of all I don't think I want to spend my two knowledge points yet. Because I want to unlock double pouches. But what we can get is some skill points. Now I'm thinking either speed, or oh, speed and strength are a bit more than I thought they were. So what I'm thinking is one level in Vein Miner. Yeah, and we want it to be Fortune. So it gives us a level of Fortune, which is great. Now the heal ability has been great for us. And I think that I want to upgrade that a bit more. So let's upgrade it once. In fact, let's do it another time. So now we'll heal six hearts at the cost of 30 mana. And now we are level 10. But I'm actually not going to do my first vault at level 10. This episode I think we're going to keep it for the next one. But what I want to do now is to go and chat with Coat. Because if he's the champion for the next three weeks, I maybe have an opportunity here to make myself a friend for life. Hello? Hello Coat? So he's very much AFK. I wonder what we can do with this situation. Right, let's make a camera. Perfect. Now, what I need is something that is exactly white. All right, we took a photo. Got a few, but that, oh my God, that looks perfect. Okay, how do I put it up on the wall? Okay, okay, looking a bit better. We can go a bit bigger though, can't we? 
push them into the middle of it. Ah, no, it doesn't work. That is quite annoying. I mean, it's a bit confusing. It's not quite as confusing as I'd hoped it to be. <laughs> I mean, oh, it's not quite working as I want it to. I mean, I think you're making him think that this has loaded badly somehow. Okay, we have completed a prank. It's a bit of a weird one, I will admit. I can't say it's worked out as flawlessly as I hoped for, but it should be quite fun. The so code's going to log in, and this is what he's going to see. Just some weird brown room. And then he's going to go, right, I'll leave this weird brown room. And he walks in, and it's a weird white room. But then he goes in, <laughs> weird brown room. And then he's out. Um, so, so it's just going to confuse him. Maybe? I don't really know. My uh, my job here is done, I think. Um. <laughs> but with that, I think it is the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, please remember to comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!